How in the heck is it going, everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. It is that time, time for another episode of Ask Hunters for Life. Had plans to record this video yesterday, but spent half the day fishing, which was pretty good. The next fishing video you guys will see will be uh, one of the better videos of the year. And then uh, we actually just bought a new house, so we're in the in the process of getting everything packed up. Got all the ice fishing stuff packed up, all the duck hunting stuff packed up. Majority of like little knickknacks in our other storage room, which is uh, behind this wall. Oh yonder, got most of that packed up. Just have rods and clothes and pretty much everything that's left in this office to pack up, which is going to be another trip or two, but it's all coming along, and when we finally get settled, we'll be in a uh, in a way better place and able to bring way, way, way better videos. Super, super, super jacked. Summer's starting to get busy. Uh, we leave for Torch Lake here in another week or so. Down there for a week, come back. First Veterans Lake Trout trip out here in Marquette, and then we go that evening, fly out to go to Iowa for like three, four days of trout fishing. But now I've got a... Uh, Apple laptop, so I'll be able to make videos on the go, finally, so stoked about that, you guys won't be uh, missing out on any of our videos, so that's, that's, that's good. We might as well get right into the questions. First question we got, our buddy Tyler Ingle would like to know if we've ever fished in Menominee County, and uh, perfect, first question gives me an opportunity to roll some clips from our last videos. All right, everybody, I do apologize. The way we do these videos is we record answering all of the questions. Of course, dog's got to bark. Bark of the garbage man, typical dog. We record all the questions, responses, and all that kind of stuff. And then when we have the opportunity, we place in, I, I guess you could maybe call it B-roll. Somebody let me know if that's the actual right term. I'm not, I don't really know the videography terms. I know cut, I know trim, I know zoom. I'm, I'm learning, but... Uh, we weren't able to show you the sturgeon or the walleye footage from Menominee. For whatever reason, the files were corrupted, and my screen recording app is not working right now. But we do have some action-packed fishing clips coming for you in the next couple of questions here. Previous videos, I guess. Fish Menominee County one, twice, and that was only on the Menominee River during the walleye run. Haven't gotten uh, gotten over there to fish any other lakes. Did not do very good on the walleyes. Saw I couldn't tell you how many ten plus pound walleyes we saw caught all around us by other people, but luckily we got a uh, got a little bit of a bonus with the biggest sturgeon I've personally ever seen. So that was that was a plus, but pretty decent question. Next question, we got our boy Uber Outdoors. This one's a mouthful. So to summarize it up, he's never used a baitcaster before. Watch to get into it. Wants to know what, what good brands are, what good reels, one piece, two piece length. Um, I think the most short of the, the musk, his budget, he doesn't want to spend more than $300 on a rod and reel. The most expensive rod and reel combo I've ever bought was my musky rod, which is over here somewhere. And uh, that was a complete impulse buy. And that one was like 250 That's an Abu Garcia. Other than that, I think the most before that I'd ever spent on a baitcaster was like 150 and that was a lose uh, speedster, I believe, like a 6'8 or a 6'10, a little shorter. But now I've been getting some like Quantums and uh, Abu Garcia um, combos. One was like 75 bucks, I think. One was 80 And honest to God, I don't I don't really see myself spending in the in the future spending more. Then a hundred dollars on a uh, on a rod and reel combo. They all break just as easy, and uh, it hurts a little less when they're uh, when they're a little cheaper when they get broken, or you step on the tip or something like that. But definitely, I'd say go with Abu Garcia. We're actually uh, just coming out with with a couple of prototype hunters for life rods, uh, baitcasters and spinning rods. So it's, it's maybe hopefully in the soon and near future we'll get the uh, get the ball rolling and get those up for sale in our store, which would be uh, which would be pretty neat. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Just keep the ball rolling. Next question, we got our boy Big O Outdoors. He says that we should go smallmouth fishing in Lake Michigan, which is uh, 
actually where we kicked off this year's uh, this year's smallmouth fishing with a handful of like five six pound smallies. And typically, I mean, typically, uh, we'll roll some of that footage. Typically, we uh, try to try to keep Lake Michigan for the spring when the bass are you know pre spawn going into spawn. A little easier to target. They're definitely hungry and they're definitely fat. So let's see some of this spring's Lake Michigan smallmouth. Oh. Dude, that's a, at least a five pounder. Good fish, good fish. Don't hit me in the, don't hit me in the head this time. Oh, it's a that's bigger than mine. That's bigger than yours. That's a that's a oh, that's a oh that's a fatty. That's man. the biggest smallmouth you ever caught, isn't that's it? That's probably is. He's getting heavy. Oh, he's getting mean. Nice net job. That's a big one too. That's a good girl right there. Holy wow, brother. Next cast after that last one. Got another one in the basket. Another good one. Oh, that's a dude. That's that's might be picture worthy. I knew he was up there too. One click, it should. You gotta be patient, it's got like a timer setting. Like some battery saver mode or something. I don't need a net for this one. Boat flipping three pounders. There he is. Oh, look at the reach on that one. That's a, that might be the biggest one of the day. I'll tell you that's a picture. It went right through its head. I'll tell you that. That's a picture worthy fish right there, brother. Got him. Good one. This is an old girl, probably right around that. This might be a little over six, actually. Oh my god, this is a beauty. All righty, next question. Once again, from our boy Big O Outdoors, he wants to know what kind of boat we use when we go trout fishing. And <laughs> We've only current. I mean, I got a kayak, but we've only got one boat right now. It's a Bass Tracker 1654, I think, all weld John boat with a uh, 25 horse Mercury. The only cool thing that we've got that's different from regular fishing. Well, we got the duck blind for it. The boat pretty much does everything but big water, like you know, Lake Superior trolling. But other than that, we got uh, six LED lights that go on it with a Yamaha 2000 watt generator that we use when we either go bow fishing or uh, trout fishing at night. We're gonna try them for crappies too, that's our plan. We briefly tried them for uh, herring and whitefish, but Mother Nature had different plans. It's cool, because we'll leave the two lights up on the front of the boat during duck season. Makes it super, super easy to safely get to your spot with hitting as few of stumps and rocks as possible. <laughs> and it makes that in the decoys really nice you can just turn the lights wherever you're setting decoys and uh, pretty much light up the whole body of water might as well roll a little bit of our uh, nighttime trout fishing 
videos. Alrighty, well, just got the Jenny all, Jenny all fired up. Some lights plugged in and uh, hopefully bring in some bait and then bring in some trout. Alrighty, so we got a minnow on a Swedish pimple, Haley Jig Waxy, like 10 foot down, Haley Jig Waxy right off the bottom. Jig? Off the worm and corn off the bottom worm and corn off the bottom this one's not the bottom this one's up mm. well we got it all for them that's a good trout that's a good that's a trout oh yeah bud that is a good trout that is a good trout come grab it come grab it come grab it oh that was potentially on me get him in the boat oh <laughs> yeah That's a good fish. That is yeah. a good fish. We don't even need to measure that I one. I boat flipped them. <laughs> we don't even need to measure that one. To... That is a beautiful trout there. Definitely not boat flipping that one. You're definitely not. I forgot to button my pants up. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> the other line. Oh, I messed that up. I got Did you? Ha oh my God! I thought he jumped right in. Got him. Oh my God! Got him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the net just in case. But be prepared for the boat flip. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I was gonna try to, I was gonna try to swat him into the boat with the net. <laughs> Three minutes later, Alex has another one. Oh my God! How am I gonna net this thing? There we go. That's exactly how I'm gonna net him. There we go. Okay, okay, could it? That's, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's not a bluegill. I'm gonna go ahead and say you might need an attempt at a net. This seems big, boy. Oh my God, yeah. All right, I'm gonna definitely mess it up. This, the crud on the top definitely doesn't help. Oh my god, that's a big trout. Do not bolt flip that one, I will get him. He's hooked good, you haven't lost him by now. Oh, buddy. That was lucky as hell. Thank you. Dude, both. they go like 900 different ways. They're so freaking Thank hard you. to net. <laughs> that's a trout. I don't like how he's under. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, no! No! Okay, I definitely finally found me a trout. Okay, Alex is definitely way better at netting than I am. <laughs> oh, he came off in the net. Okay, drone's in the air. Alex is hooked get up. Get the, get, the get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Rip, 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 rip. That one, I got, got that one, got I got that one. Too. <laughs> That's right, I still got him. Yeah. Try to fly a drone in the bitch blackness. Kind of hard. Ready for a double. Oh, that's a big old bluegill. That might Look at that one. gill, dude. Are you kidding me? Why am I out here catching bluegills? All I want are trout. What do you got? Trout? Gill? Why are we catching bluegills at 1.45 in the morning? Oh, that's definitely a trout. That's a trout. I'm good on, I'm good on backing off though. Yes, you are. I know that I'm not gonna get them. Got him that time. I just... Trout. <laughs> did you, did you... Were you a lacrosse player? I swear you might have been. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Trout. Trout. 
trout. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. That was the best one of the day too, huh? He was tired. Now let me just get a... Well, we're calling her a night. Limit of rainbows. About five or six gills and a couple of dandy, dandy perch. I don't know if you guys can even see this, but we'll show you when we get back to the launch. Ah, <laughs> wicked fog, wicked fog, wicked fog. Going back. Ah, jacked. All right. Well, here's what we ended up with. Ten rainbows, a couple of dandy perch, five bluegills. Could have probably kept a couple more, but uh, we were. It was more of a trouty type mission. Not a bad day. Right, next question: Our boy Alex Deerwester. Congratulations on uh, winning that last giveaway, my friend. He said, "Well, it's not currently back here, but he caught a glimpse." A lot of people have been loving this gun of the lever action. And wants to know if we know how old it is. <laughs> My cowboy gun. Honest to God, don't really have the slightest, uh, slightest idea how old this baby is. But I know it's probably at least 25, 30 years old, I'd reckon. Still in pretty dang good shape. Shoots pretty good. Hopefully, hopefully finally kill some animals with it. Hopefully the first animal I shoot with it will be uh, something in Africa. Getting pretty uh, pretty excited for that adventure. But we will look into that gun. We've got family vacation coming up. It was my grandpa's originally. So you might be able to give me a rough estimate on how old the gun is. Thank you for that question, my friend. Alrighty, next question. Have we ever fished Lake Vux, Vox, Vox? De something like that <laughs> desert and uh honest to god never even heard of it so i mean it says desert so i'm going to assume it's somewhere in a place that is probably way too warm for uh for this youper to be we live in so you probably won't see me down there anytime soon i'm going to try to go to texas in the winter though because it'll be i think manageable i mean i've been to uh, Vegas, I've been to Phoenix, and those were two problems. I mean, those weather-wise, hell on earth. I mean, it gets above 75, 80 degrees, which is like 80-something up here right now. That's why you might hear the window fan doing the fanny things over here, trying to keep it keep it all in check. But honestly, just let me know where that lake is. I'm kind of curious now, but definitely never fished it. All righty, all righty. Final question. Lauren Coleman would like to know what is our favorite bait and I'm going to assume you're probably talking about bass fishing. And we've been doing a lot of bass fishing lately. Typically, I mean, if you ask me what my favorite lure is, I'm going to tell you it's the Haley Jig because it's the best fishing lure ever. As far as bass fishing goes, we did catch a smallmouth on the Haley Jig, though, this, this summer. So that was neat. But I would typically say the Sanko Worm is probably is probably one of, uh, one of my favorites. And the Gobi Rainbow Trout or Baby Bass Color. But lately, it has been the Falcon Lake Rage Craw, just on a punch rig or a jig head or skirted jig. Any form of bass, hook, and weight combination has been uh, has been pretty effective. That was the the money maker of uh, the video that you guys will see tomorrow. So that is about all of the questions that we have for episode thirty three. 33 let's go with that <laughs> thank you guys for your support thank you for those of you that ask questions i know you all already have but if you haven't hit that subscribe button thumbs up thumbs down whatever you're feeling leave a comment down in that comment box with a question you would like us to answer i don't get any messages on my phone unless i'm doing a video it's great <laughs> but thank you guys for watching thank you for your support as always happy adventures